Okay, we're going to get started now. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of different um, different files. Some I've downloaded from the marketplace. Some I've started working on my own. Uh, lots of different resources. One I strongly suggest, and I'll put that in the notes, is uh, I do want you guys to get a few of these things uh, so that we can actually utilize um, some of the same assets uh, later on so uh, no time like the present to just download a few content examples you want to get that that's a big one um, now depending on your hard drive space and stuff there's a lot of cool ones you can get um, water plains um, landscape mountains but really really content examples is huge water plains is really good because you can backwards deconstruct the water um but uh, oh and the realistic rendering but these are all really good if you have not gotten uh, some of them and if you have a decent amount of hard drive space it's a good thing to check out it really is the elemental demo is gorgeous uh, it's it's a pretty big file um, not as big as the boy and his kite this thing is ridiculously big so uh, unless you have a lot of bandwidth and you don't mind uh, downloading humongous files. And when I say big, this is like, it's several gigs. I mean, it's ginormous. So just be careful of that. When you actually click on some of these and you take a look at them, um, make sure to, to, to really look, uh, yeah, 50 uh, gigabytes. This is no joke. So this is like ginormous and you have to have a really monster machine to run it properly. My machine is really powerful and it still kind of coughs a little bit on this one. So just just keep that in mind. It, it's This is a beast. But enough about that. We're going to go to the library. And I'm going to assume that you guys are, you know, are have you've already taken a few classes and... Uh, but ask, feel free, please ask me questions if uh, there's something I go over or there's something you're like, hey, we never went over that. Then I can do a double take and go, oh, I'm sorry, and we can backtrack and we can get up and running. This first week, while I'm getting to know you guys and to know what you have taken and stuff, and I want you to get to used to if you have questions. And I might be like, oh, yeah, I'll go over that. Or, man, ooh, let me rearrange some stuff. Or we'll, we'll cover that a little bit later because it'll... It's not a quick and easy question, but we will get to it. Um, I'm going to use uh, 413. So we'll launch that out. And we're actually going to make a, uh, a new project because I want to walk through how we're going to set every thing up. Okay. So. Uh, once again, like a ton of stuff. We're going to go new project. And just so um, we can walk around and we have a, you know, a pawn like a little character or no, basically a general character. It's inside of there. I'm going to choose the f uh, FPS, the first person uh, template. Don't worry, shooting ping pong balls. Um, this just gives us a really good walk around that we can look around at. And I'm going to, uh, so we can have all the nice bells and whistles, I'm just going to say uh, desktop console, maximum quality with starter content so that we have some stuff that we can pull open and look at, and, you know, and really see what's going on. And I'm just going to call this one shader dev one. Okay. Um, Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this a little bit different. I'm so sorry. I'm actually going to go in and call this one tie shader dev one. And this is going to be important later because the way you guys are going to turn in your files, okay? Uh, it's not that big of a deal. I've actually organized it. So if you forgot already hit create and you didn't put that in there, don't 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 lose it. It's it's okay. I'm just putting it in there as a set extra backup, but it's not a big deal. So 
just going to say uh, create project and I always because I'm on a laptop and I have an SSD drive as my main drive and then I have a uh, secondary I always put the projects on the secondary because this these will fill up that SSD really fast okay so while it's uh, building that out, and that should only take a minute because it's not, you know, not major. Um, this uh, this particular video is just how we're going to set things up, and then I'll do one right after that is essentially how we're going to actually do our uh, shaders. And I apologize for um, these seeming last minute. They are a little last minute, not because I didn't. Um, didn't want to do them. It was because some of the files that I uh, was expecting are, are uh, the example files and stuff weren't there. So I'm basically making those right now, which actually I'm happy about because it allows me to jump in and do it exactly the way I want to, which is fun. <laughs> so, all right. So I've got my scene here. We've got our sun and all that kind of stuff in here. We even have some, if I right click, and play from here. We have some physics objects. Just hit escape to jump out of that. Okay. So um, you may have a different configuration. That's okay. Um, and I might change mine a little bit, a little bit later. But uh, here's my content uh, stuff over here and my uh, things. This is the way I want you guys to set this up. So. This has the first person uh, meshes and stuff. It has the uh, blueprints, first person BP, um, geometry meshes, which are really basic, and the starter content, which has a lot more stuff into it. We'll dig into a little later. What I want to do, uh, and this will make more sense a little bit later, is click on where it says content. And I'm going to right click on there. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to say that um, I want to make a new folder that's going to be in here. And I want to make a new folder because when you guys upload this, you are going to upload the, the whole project. And the first time you upload it, it's going to be pretty big. Uh, but if you actually upload, uh, you know, you make a separate folder like what we're going to do. And I'm just going to make a brand new folder in the content folder itself. And I'm going to call it Ties Assets. And press Enter. And inside of Ties Assets, I'm going to create a few new folders. One, I'll call I'll call it uh, materials. Another one I will create and call textures. And one more called meshes. So materials, textures, and meshes. And the reason I did this is because, um, before I go any further, I'm just going to say save and save all. And the reason I'm doing this is because inside of this project folder now, if I right click on it, um, one of these folders, and then I say show in Explorer. Here is uh, my entire project, my game project. Under content, takes a second. Then you'll notice we have um, some different folders inside of here. And if I actually go in, let's do this. Gonna go to ties assets. 
show in Explorer. And it's not really showing anything yet because I haven't put anything into it yet, but you could see that the folder is actually there. Okay. And that's actually going to be important because um, this is how I'm going to organize it. Once I start putting stuff in there, it goes, oh, you, you're keeping things in there. And it's actually going to um, allow me to basically keep some stuff in there. So what I want to do is I'm setting this up. And then once I start saving them, um, sometimes I'll just wait until I'm actually pulling stuff in. But I'll actually have that all ready. So you can see now I've got my project, I've got it all saved up. And uh, then I can start bringing in some files and we can create our first material. Well, let's put a hold on there and then we'll start off next by creating a material.